Hello. My name is Dr. Muniapa. Is it Charles Mann? Yes. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Mann. How can I help you today? I, I, I got up this morning and uh, the left side of my arm and leg was really weak and um, it only lasted for about 30 minutes and I'm, I'm only here because my wife insisted that I told my nurse because I came for my uh, regular checkup for my diabetes okay. and she insisted I'd mentioned it to the nurse and she said I should see you. Right, okay. And um, how long ago do you think this happened? Uh, about four hours ago. Four hours ago, okay. And you feel fine now? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, okay. So you mentioned it was your left arm and your left leg that were yes. weak. Yes. Um, were you able to get out of bed or did it stop you doing that? It, it, it stopped me for about 30 minutes or so. Okay. It was really difficult to move and then it, it, it went off and then I could move about okay. Okay. Did you notice any other weakness like in your face? No, nothing, no. After the initial presented complaint from the patient, Dr Anu asks lots of closed questions to find out more about the patient's condition. Okay, were you able to talk okay? Yes, yes. yes. Has this ever happened before to you? Nothing, nothing like this at all before at all, no. Okay, did you have any chest pain at all at the time? No. And did you feel your heart racing at all? Yes, it, it, that was racing. Okay, and that happened at the time that you had the weakness? Yes, yes it did. Okay, and has this ever happened before? Not at all. Never, so it was just about four hours ago you woke up the left side was, was weak, yeah. but you were able to talk okay. Yeah. Dr Anu carries out a quick summary to ensure she has the story correct so far, and then carries on with more questions. Yes. Um, were you able to see okay? Yes, vision was, was fine, no, nothing else. No. You mentioned that your wife was worried and she's urged you to mention it to the, the nurse yes. today. Was she worried about anything in particular? Were you worried about anything? No. I here, the doctor begins to find out about the patient's ideas, concerns and expectations. Another good point is not only does she ask about the patient's ideas, concerns and expectations, but tries to find out a little bit about what his wife was also thinking. I, I don't worry about that sort of thing, but okay. it was my wife. Did you have any ideas of what it could be? No, not, not really. I, I'm just hoping that, you know, you can just say everything's okay. I, I didn't really think anything of it. Okay. And did you think I'd be doing any specific tests or, or, or any specific things when, I came, when you came to see me today? Well, probably just kind of a, a, a general examination of my heart and all that sort of thing. Okay. That's it. Okay, okay, that's fine. So if you won't, wouldn't mind, I'm just going to ask you a few just general questions just about your general health and, and mm -hmm. how things are at home. So we've got here that you suffer with diabetes. Yes. And you also have a high blood pressure. Yes, and yes. And you're on some tablets for that? Yes, I take, I take two for my diabetes and two for the high blood pressure. Do you take any other medication from over the counter, any herbal tablets? No. No, okay. Are you allergic to anything? No. Is there any family history of any strokes or heart attacks that you're aware of? Uh, well, no. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm adopted, so I don't know. All oh, right. So. OK, OK. Um, are you working at the moment, Mr Mann? No, I'm a retired teacher. OK. And enjoying my retirement. Oh, good, <laughs> good, good. And you mentioned your wife, so do you live at home with your wife? Yes, yes. Anyone um, else? Oh, sorry, anyone? She's fine and, yeah. Yeah? She doesn't have any other medical problems? No. No. And anyone else at, at home with you and your wife? Uh, no. Okay. Do you smoke at all, Mr. Mann? Uh, not anymore. I okay. used to, okay. but not uh, but not anymore. That's good to hear that you've stopped. Yeah. How long ago did you stop? Oh, it's got to be about three three years. But I used to smoke for about twenty years. Okay. And I used to smoke twenty a day. Right. So. But I thought, enough is enough, so... So you've I'm stopped just, now? I've stopped now, okay. yes. Do you drink any alcohol? Oh, very, very little. Um, I, I leave it to the weekends and it's only a glass of wine or two. Okay, okay nothing more than that? No. No. And um, do you mind me asking if you drive? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, and, and how have you got here to the surgery? Oh, that, that's how I got here today, you've been yeah. you driving. Okay. The doctor clarifies the patient's driving history, which is important for future management. So just to make sure I've got everything right, one more time. 
The doctor provides another quick summary. It's the left side, arm and leg that were weak this yes. morning. Happened about four hours ago. You're fine yes. now, the symptoms have gone away. Yes. And your wife's really urged you to come in yes. today to get it checked out. Yes. Okay, that's fine. So what I'd like to do now is examine you. Uh, I'd right. like to start by checking your blood pressure again. Okay. Just checking your pulse, checking the nerves in your arms and your legs, but also in your head, and having a look at the back of your eyes. The doctor states what examination she's going to carry out. She could possibly be a bit more specific by saying she's going to check the reflexes. Would that be okay? Yes, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me um, examine you. All the checks that I've done today have come back okay, oh, which is good. good. Okay. Um, however, I am concerned about the symptoms that you had um, earlier today. Dr Anu has finished her history and examination and now has just under five minutes to explain the management to the patient and answer his questions. She introduces the diagnosis quite gently by giving a warning shot, I'm concerned about your symptoms, and then explains the possible diagnosis. Um, I think it could be something called a mini stroke. Dr Anu explains to the patient that he may have had a possible mini stroke, which is a good way of describing a TIA. It might be a good idea to also say that this is what is called a TIA or transient ischemic attack as the patient may be told this term later and think it is something different. Ooh. Have you heard about mini strokes? Well, not really. I've heard of strokes but not sure. mini strokes. So what do you know about strokes? Here the doctor seeks to find out the patient's thoughts and feelings about strokes. Um, the, it kind of paralyzes people That's right. and it affects your speech and how you think and they can get they improve but it usually leaves people um, not what they used to be. That's right so you're absolutely right that that's what we we um, class as a stroke. Now a mini stroke is when you have a temporary interruption of the blood supply that goes up to your brain and when you have a stroke it's usually a, a permanent loss of that blood supply to certain parts of the brain which is why you're left with weakness or, or symptoms that persist but in your case I think because it was temporary all your symptoms have resolved and, and, and gone back to normal but here the doctor gives a good explanation of a TIA as well as clarifying to the patients the differences between a TIA and a stroke. That's what we call a mini stroke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now mini strokes we do have to take seriously um, and I would like you to have some checks done at the hospital. Oh. How would you feel about that? Ooh, I'm a bit worried about going to the hospital. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was there anything you were worried about in particular? Here the doctor finds out why the patient is worried about going to hospital. Um, no, it's just... It's just everything that goes on around you, really. Okay, okay. Well, um, it is a necessary part because we need to get some certain tests done. Oh. And here explains to the patient why it is important to go to hospital. Okay. including some um, more specific blood tests and also a scan done of your head so that we can see if there, there's any evidence of these issues with the blood supply. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I would also like for you to have a tablet today, something called aspirin, just to help thin your blood until you see the hospital. Would that be okay? Yes, yes. So we'll, we'll get that for you at, at the end of the consultation. All right. Um, now, I'm going to make a call to the hospital and ask for them. Here, the doctor correctly arranges same-day assessment. Remember the ABCD squared score for TIA. A is for age. B is for blood pressure. C is for clinical features. D is for duration. And D is for diabetes. He scores one point as he's over 60. He scores one more point for a blood pressure over 140 over 90. Two points for unilateral weakness. One point for symptoms lasting 30 minutes in duration. And one point for being a diabetic. He scores 6, which means he has an 8% chance of having a stroke in the next two days. It is important you know the referral criteria for conditions like this, so you can refer appropriately. ...to see you, so you'll be seen today in the oh, hospital. Oh, today? Yeah. Is that going to be okay with you? 
Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, the only other thing I would say is, because I think it has been a mini stroke that you've experienced, we usually say you can't drive or you shouldn't be driving for at least a month or at least until you've seen the hospital. A month. I, I love driving. Um, it, it is just for safety purposes because in the first month you're at more risk of having a further one of these and if for some reason it happened whilst you were driving it can cause an accident yes. and you can hurt yourself as well as other people. Yes, so yeah. we say at least for a, the, the first month. Dr Anu correctly informs the patient that he can't drive and explains the reasons why. If you go up to the hospital and the consultant says otherwise, then that's fine. But the usual advice is for a month. Okay. Okay. Now, um, we do need to get you up to hospital for the appointment today. Is there somebody that could take you? The doctor ensures the patient is safely transferred to hospital. My, my, my wife, as long as she can get here, she, she can drive me, yes. Okay, that, that's great. Now, just some advice. If this happens again mm. before you get up to the hospital, um, so there's weakness in your face, any problems with your speech, any problems seeing or weakness as you described this morning, I, I would like for you to call 999. It's like the doctor safety net on what to do if a reoccurrence occurs. Luckily the appointment is going to be sometime today, but I will confirm that with the hospital. And if that happens when I'm at home, it, it, it's a 999 call? 999 is it? call, okay. um, just because we need to get you checked ASAP. All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, now, would you like some information about mini strokes? Yes, I would really. It's yeah. kind of been a bit of a shock, really. Sure. Okay, I, I can see that. So I'll print out some information for you. Yes. Um, I'll make the arrangements at the hospital. So if you want to take a seat in the waiting room, I'll let you know when that appointment's going to be. Thank you. Um, the information that I'm going to give, it may be worth as well sharing to your wife. So if she recognises these symptoms as well, yes. that she'll know what to do. All right. Is Thank that you. okay? Yes. Do you have any questions at the moment? The doctor checks the patient has understood everything. No, it's just taking it all in, really. Sure. Uh, I probably would have when I when I think about it, but yeah. not just at the moment. Thank you. If you do come up with any questions, if you just write them down, and I'll make an appointment to see you next week. The doctor arranges specific follow-up. It is important you always clarify when the patient should be seen again, if you deem this appropriate as long right. as there's no other problems in the meantime. Okay. So you can see the hospital, see what they say, and then we can maybe have a chat next week. All right, thank you. Is that you. okay? That's fine. So I'll make those arrangements, just have a seat in the waiting room. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. So, how did she do? Dr Anu has a structured history, and like in this consultation, you should try leaving five minutes for the management section. She made an appropriate referral based on a rapid assessment using the ABCD squared criteria. An appropriate history needs to be taken, and in this case, driving history is important. Overall, this was a clear pass in all domains.